If you are looking for a complete guide that will help you select the best laptop within your budget, then this video is going to be an important and interesting for you. Selecting the best laptop is a challenging task. The laptop market is overcrowded with the presence of too many brands and too many models to choose from. The selection process becomes even more challenging if you do not understand the technical jargon used to describe the various laptop models. And therefore, impulsive buying, especially without any technical know-how for an expensive product like a laptop, might lead to taking a wrong decision. But, let me assure you, after watching this video, you will be armed with the knowledge and the information that will help you confidently select the best laptop that you are looking for. Welcome to LearnComputerScienceOnline.com, and in this video, we are going to discuss how to select the best laptop. In this video, you will also learn about the 16 important laptop buying tips that affects the laptop performance. Your laptop is an electronic gadget. The laptop performance, its build quality, and the lifespan depends upon the quality and the technical features of some of its key hardware and the software components. And therefore, it is important to first study the technical features of the laptop, usually mentioned in the product description. So, let us start with discussion with the processor chip that drives your laptop. The microprocessor is also technically referred as the CPU. The CPU stands for Central Processing Unit. The processor is the brain of your computer system. The processor is the most important component that provides the necessary processing power to the computer. The processor performance depends upon its technical features. Some important technical features of the processor include first, the CPU brand, second, the CPU generation, third, the processor speed, and finally fourth, the number of cores present inside the processor chip. The processor market is predominantly controlled by only two companies. And these two companies are Intel Corporation and AMD. So, as a laptop buyer, you need to choose between these two processor brands that dominates the CPU market. The good news is that both Intel processor and the AMD processor now compete neck to neck in terms of the CPU performance and the features. The Intel Corporation initially used to have a clear edge over AMD processor. However, in the recent past, AMD has introduced some really high performance processors chips at very competitive price. However, the Intel processor still continues to be the most popular choice for most top of the line laptop brands, but the Intel CPU are relatively expensive. On the other hand, the AMD processor, with their Ryzen series of processor, offer some high performance processor that relatively offer complete value for money. So, between the Intel or AMD processor, the choice is entirely yours. The processor generation is another important feature of the CPU that highlight the contemporary technology used in the processor chip. For example, Intel Core i3, i5, i7, and Intel Core i9 is the latest generation of processor that are currently available in the market. Similarly, the AMD CPU generation include Ryzen 3, Ryzen 5, and the Ryzen 9 processor are the current generation of AMD processor. Regarding the processor generation, it is important to note that the processor generation merely indicates the contemporary processor technology. The processor company generally launch number of processor chips with different features that belongs to the same generation. Another important CPU feature that indicates the processor performance is the number of cores present in the processor chip. For the sake of simplicity, we can compare the processor core with the processing arm of the CPU. The processor with more number of processing arms will always work faster. And therefore, the multi-core processor with either 2, 4, 8, or even more number of cores in a single processor chip. The multi-core processor will always give a better all-round performance. Another important feature that indicates the processor performance is the processor frequency or the clock speed of the 
CPU. In simple terms, the process of clock speed is a measure of its ability to process the number of program instructions processed per second. As a rule of thumb, the higher CPU frequency indicates the higher processing power of the processor chip. For example, a processor with clock speed of 1 GHz can process 1 billion instructions per second. Amazing, isn't it? But that is how the computer work with the lightning speed. The current generation of both Intel and the AMD processor chips are clocking at the rate of 3 GHz to 5 GHz depending upon the processor model. Let us now move on to the second most important technical feature that affects the laptop performance and that is the main memory RAM. The RAM stands for random access memory. The main memory RAM size and the type of the RAM modules used in the laptop affects the system performance. For the entry-level general purpose laptops, the RAM size of 4 GB is considered to be sufficient. Whereas, for high-end laptops used for the heavy applications such as gaming or video editing jobs, the recommended RAM size is between 8 GB to 16 GB. The RAM module type and the RAM technology used in the laptop is indicated by the RAM generation. The RAM type include DDR3, DDR4, and the latest DDR5. The third important technical feature of the laptop is the graphics card. The graphics card is a type of add-on processor that is specially optimized to handle image processing work of the computer system. And therefore, a laptop with graphics card installed can easily handle heavy applications such as special effects games, video processing work, and other image processing software. The graphics card is essential feature of most high-performance laptops. The graphics card is also called as GPU, which stands for Graphics Processing Unit. The GPU addition to laptop significantly improves the user experience. Let us now move on to the next important feature, and that is operating system. The choice of the operating system is decided by the personal preferences. For example, some users are very comfortable with Windows operating system based computers. Whereas, some users are diehard fan of Apple devices with Mac iOS as operating system. For Windows based systems, you can either opt for Windows 10 or buy a laptop with only DOS operating system. And then install any other previous version of the Windows operating system, such as Windows 7 or Windows 8. Let us now talk about another important feature, and that is laptop display screen. The laptop display screen adds a significant value to the user experience, especially when the system is used either for graphics work or for the entertainment purpose, such as watching movies or for playing games with special effects. The display screen quality depends upon the screen resolution. And the screen resolution defines the pixel density of the screen. For example, to render high definition HD images, you will need a screen with HD resolution that supports the high definition content. The high definition HD screen resolution can either be only HD with resolution 720 pixels by 1080 pixels or a full HD resolution is 1920 pixels by 1080 pixels. Some high-end laptops offers ultra high definition resolution that is 3840 by 2160 pixels and some offer the latest 4K resolution. The touch screen is another feature that allows the laptop to be used in the tablet mode. The touch screen feature is an important feature, especially for the two-in-one category laptops. The two-in-one laptops are specially designed so that the user can easily use these laptops either as a regular laptop or as a tablet. Let us now talk about the data storage feature of the laptop. 
the data storage capacity, of the hard disk drives, available in the laptop, and, its data access speed, both affect, the laptop performance. The current generation of laptops, generally use, these two types of, hard disk drives, for the data storage. The first type of, storage disks are called as, hard disk drives, in short, HDD. These hard disk drives offer, sizable storage capacity, and, these storage disks are, relatively cheaper. The second type of, storage disks, are called as, high-speed, solid-state drives, in short, SSD disks. Some laptop models offer, the combination of, both these storage devices. The HDD type of storage disks have, internal mechanical moving parts, which makes them prone, for the disk failure. Whereas, the SSD type storage disks, does not have, any mechanical moving, internal parts, which makes them, more reliable, and therefore, these disks last longer. The main advantage of the, SSD disk is, very high data access speed, which significantly improves, the laptop performance. Let us now discuss, another important laptop fetcher, that matters, is the battery backup time for your laptop. There are four types of batteries, mainly used in the laptops, for the main power source. The first type of, nickel cadmium battery is now updated, and, no longer used, in the laptops. These batteries are heavy, and offer, low backup time. The second type nickel metal hydride battery, is a cadmium free version of the, NICD batteries. These batteries are relatively safer, lighter, and offers, more backup time, as compared to, nickel cadmium batteries. The third type of lithium ion battery, is the latest entry, and, the new standard for, portable power backup batteries. These batteries are relatively much safer, lighter, and offer, more backup time as compared to the nickel metal hydride batteries. The smart battery is, another new entrant, in the laptop battery options. These smart batteries are equipped with, its own electronic circuit, that allows communication with the laptop, to monitor its performance. Finally, let us talk about the, laptop connectivity and, connection ports. The connection ports essentially provide, the laptop connectivity, with the other devices. These devices could be either, input devices, output devices, storage devices or any other peripheral devices, that needs to be connected to the laptop. The laptop connectivity can be either, a wired connection, or, wireless connection, such as wireless network, or, it can be Bluetooth connection. Most laptops offer, standard connection ports, for the laptop. That brings us, to the end of this tutorial. Please read the detailed article, on our website, learncomputerscienceonline.com, for more details. And in this tutorial, we have discussed in detail, how to select the best laptop. We have also discussed, various important technical features of the laptop, that should be considered, while selecting the laptop. If you have liked this video, then, please give us a thumbs up. And, do consider, to subscribe, to this channel, for more such interesting videos. Thanks for watching, and I will see you soon with, another computer science tutorial video.